Hello there guys and welcome, it is Niran here and today I'm excited to bring you a new series. Today it is time for me to introduce episode number one of FIFA 16 players to watch out for. Now for you guys who went around on FIFA 14 days, of which there's probably quite a lot of you, uh, I'll explain what this series is about. Basically this is where I talk to you about players who should be absolutely awesome on FIFA 16 Karimo based on their performances in real life, whether that be goals and assists and the such like, uh, and that sort of leading to whether they got a lot of informs or team of the season cards or man of the match cards on ultimate team or whatever, uh, and also whether they good on FIFA 15. If you're a god on FIFA 15 potential wise, then they're probably going to be good on FIFA 16. As was the case last year, feel free to drop suggestions for next episode in the comment section, whether that be players from your league or your team or whatever. Players who you think are going to be absolutely awesome on FIFA 16, drop them in the comment section and I will put them into episode 2. But the first player of this episode and therefore the series is Nabil Fekir of Lyon, a player with absolutely fantastic acceleration, agility, balance, sprint, speed, ball control and dribbling. Playing for Lyon, he's an attacking mid, 79 stat, 20 years of age at the moment. Uh, from France, can play as an attacking mid, striker or left winger, high attacking work rate and four star skill moves as well as three star week for a very, very good like good prospect it has to be said potential wise and also scored 13 goals and got 13 assists in league on this season uh, this season sorry leading to him getting a team of the season card uh, during team of the season the league and team of the season but now the, the next player is Moses Simon the KAA Gent player uh, from the Belgian Pro League 71 stat he's 18 years of age amazing acceleration 91 93 agility as well as good balance and sprint speed as well as okay attack position ball control and dribbling from Nigeria five star week for four star skill moves medium attacking and defensive work rate and can only play as a striker uh, with the acrobat um, speciality this guy for an 18 year old scored 17 goals in 40 appearances for KAA Gent in real life obviously a new player onto the game as well uh, so he looks as if he's gonna be absolutely awesome on the next career mode with all that sprint speed and dribbling ability but next up we've got Albert Rusnak of FC Groningen in the era of visa used to play for Manchester City. Um, he was loaned out to SC Camber, I think it was, in the era of visa. But Groningen have signed him on a permanent deal. Uh, he's from Slovakia, 20 years of age, high attacking work rate, three star weak foot and three star skill moves. Can play as an attacking mid, left mid, or right mid. And one of the best players to have been sort of discovered in the era of visa this season, scoring 10 goals and 10 assists. And I think he got a man of the match card during this season. I'm not entirely sure, but he looks as if he should be good. He's only 70 stat now, but I pre predict him to be about. 73 or 74 for the next game and obviously 21 years of age. Next up we've got a guy who needs no introduction whatsoever. It's the 15 year old Real Madrid player Martin Erdegaard. 67 stat can obviously play as an attacking mid with great acceleration and agility as well as sprint speed, balance, ball control and dribbling. This guy is just guaranteed to be amazing on the next career mode. From Norway can play as an attacking mid, right mid, centre mid uh, as well. High attacking work rate, 4 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves. You just do, he just doesn't even need any stats. He's going to be amazing on the next career mode, and that's there's no doubt about that. Next up, we've got another Eredivisie player. Uh, we've got Bertrand Traore, who spent li uh, last season on loan at Vitesse Arnhem from Chelsea. He's now got a work permit, so he'll be at Chelsea, I hazard a guess, or at least on loan in the English League. I'm not entirely sure. But he scored 18 goals for Vitesse Arnhem in the, in the uh, Eredivisie last season. Uh, has just sort of changed to a striker from being a right winger, so he can play in both positions. He's from Burkina Faso with medium attacking work rate, but low defensive work rate. Left-footed, 18 years of age with four-star skill moves and amazing acceleration, agility, sprint speed, balance, stamina and reaction, as well as good ball control and dribbling. He should be absolutely awesome next season, especially after his goal-scoring uh, goal uh, run last season. Next up, though, we have got Terence Congola, the first centre-back or first defender, in fact, uh, in this episode from Feyenoord. Another player who... Is, is good on FIFA 15, therefore, unless he's had an absolutely shocking season in the era of visa this season, should be absolutely awesome on FIFA 16, uh, which he hasn't, so he's going to be good. Uh, 20 years of age, from the Netherlands, can play as a centre-back or left-back, left-footed with four-star weak foot, two-star skill moves, great jumping there, 92 jumping, as well as good marking, sliding tackle, standing tackle, as you would expect, and good heading accuracy as well, so perhaps a bit of an aerial threat going forward as well from corners and the such like. Now next up we've got a player you may never have heard of. This is Pione Sisto, the 70 uh, stat right mid from FC Midtjylland in the Danish league. Now this guy I think represents Denmark. He actually went to Denmark with the under 21s for the under 21 European Championships and was pretty much their best player I do believe. Uh, scored the first goal for them of the season, uh, sorry of, this, of the season, of the tournament. He's 19 years of age, 70 stats so he's probably already got pretty decent potential in this game with 4 star weak foot, ex uh, brilliant acceleration, agility, sprint speed and balance. So he's perhaps someone to look out for that not many people will know. He should have good potential. Next up we've got the Anderlecht attacking mid, Dennis Prayet, the Belgian kid. He's got good 
good acceleration, agility, sprint speed balance, as well as stamina, reactions, attack position, vision. He's got good sort of centre mid stats, so good playmaker stats being good long pass, short pass and vision, but also good agility and speed as well, sort of going forward and playing in that number 10 role. 20 years of age, uh, can play as an attacking mid or a left mid from Belgium, four star weak foot and three star skill. He's had a pretty good season for Anderlecht so far uh, so far in 2015. Now next up we've got Hector Bellerin, the 68 stat right back from Arsenal with perhaps the best sprint speed like uh, this this guy. He's quicker than Theo Walcott supposedly so why he's got 92 sprint speed is beyond me but 89 acceleration as well as 84 agility. He's a right back but realistically you, you could probably get away with playing him as a right mid. This guy's really had a breakthrough season for Arsenal this year. Three star weak foot and three star skill moves from uh, Spain 19 years of age with medium attacking and medium defensive work rate. I would suggest he'll probably be about 73 or 74 stat on FIFA 16. He should be very, very good indeed, especially after that breakthrough season this year. And then finally, another BPL player to round off this episode. We have got Iose Perez of Newcastle, another player who's had somewhat of a breakthrough season. A lot of Newcastle fans may, ne may have just not known who he was before he signed this season, but pretty much single-handedly kept them out of real danger for relegation. He's 73 stat. I would think he'll probably be about 75 stat, 76 stat on the next game. He's still 20 years of age as well, so on this game he should have about 83 potential, but next season should have even more great acceleration and agility, as well as dribbling and finishing with 4-star weak foot, 3-star skill moves, can play as a striker and attacking mid, uh, 20 years of age, as I said earlier, and high attacking work rate. They signed him, I think, for £2 million, and this guy's repaid them with seven really crucial goals. I think he was their top scorer this season. Him and Musa Sissoko have pretty much kept Newcastle in the Premier League. So this guy hopefully should be pretty good on FIFA 16. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I hope you like this series. Again, feel free to drop your suggestions uh, for episode two in the comments section below. I would really like to hear them. Hopefully I'll be able to put some of them into the next episode, if not into future episodes too. So if you did enjoy, feel free to leave a like. 50 likes would be absolutely awesome. Uh, subscribe if you are new around here as well and comment about enjoying the video if you enjoyed it that much, as well as your suggestions for episode two. But it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a good day, enjoy yourselves, and goodbye.